After months of political bickering, Korea's two main political parties have finally agreed on a special bill that's aimed at uncovering the causes of the ferry disaster in April that killed more than 300 people. But it still remains to be seen whether the bill will pass in the upcoming plenary session because the bereaved families are not entirely happy with the bill. Archie Myung Gil reports. The ruling Saenuri party conceded on Tuesday to giving the committee charged with handling the Seoul Ferry investigation special prosecutorial powers as demanded by the main opposition New Politics Alliance for Democracy. Four spots on the panel will be allocated to lawmakers. Two will be reserved for main opposition party and two for the ruling party. We will appoint our share of the two only after seeking approval from the opposition and families of the ferry victims. Both parties' floor leaders also agreed to start discussing the matter of compensation for the victims and surviving families and passage for a series of urgent bills in the upcoming plenary session next month. 93 urgent bills and 43 others that are pending will be pushed to the next plenary session. But only bills that are approved by chief policymakers from both parties will be passed. The floor leaders of the rival parties promised to continue negotiations on the days for the Seoul Ferry hearings and who will be called in as witnesses. However, the family members of the Seoul Ferry victims stand opposed to today's deal, demanding all four panel members be recommended by the main opposition party. Jim Young-gil, Arirang News.